Making money or turning a profit, those aren't causes, those are results. So what then is the purpose of making professional wrestling? It's next, until we make it. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. If you are passionate about the craft of professional wrestling, and you're never done learning all about it, then you have landed in the exact right place, my friend. What are you waiting for? Go ahead, join the Till We Make It tribe, subscribe down below, won't you please? A huge shout out to all of my loyal patrons who are helping to keep this a weekly channel. More about how you can become a patron a little bit later on in today's video. So, some important context before we dive into today's topic, please. Number one, in this video, we are going to frame our conversation about wrestling as an art form. So if you are one of those people who gets internet mad about anyone who's not talking about pro wrestling as the business, this is a perfect time for you to click away. I'll catch you next week. Second, this is a little bit of a reaction to the wave of messages I got following a series of videos of mine which concluded just last month, a five-part series called How to Become a WWE Superstar. And whenever I put out videos that are roughly on that topic, like how to pass your WWE tryout, etc., I immediately become inundated with messages from people, and these messages all sound roughly the same. They are people describing to me how their only dream in life is to go to the WWE. It's the only thing they've ever wanted since they were a child. And they don't want to be bothered with learning how to wrestle at some local wrestling school or spending their time on the independent circuit honing their craft. They would just like to go directly to the WWE and could I help them with that, please and thank you. Up first, yes, that's exactly what that series of videos is for. It's to help you. That's why I made them. But also, I can't help but feel the tiniest bit insulted whenever I get messages that say as much because virtually the entirety of my career, which is soon coming up on being 30 years, has been spent on the independent circuit. And even though I've done some gigs for the WWE, they've never been on the talent side of things. That is to say, they've never involved performing in a WWE ring. So all of my performances can be found on the independent circuit, as well as the overwhelming majority of my body of work. So the idea that that can simply be bypassed by some people because it is moot or otherwise worthless to the overall pro wrestling experience, that is a tiny bit insulting to me, as you might be able to imagine. So I just wanted to say those two things before we dive into today's topic, which is, what is the true purpose of professional wrestling? And I think the true purpose of any art form, and that art form could be cinema, that art form could be music, that art form could be painting, that art form could be professional wrestling, is to affect other people. It's to create emotion, feeling in the people that experience the art you make. I'm betting if you're watching this right now, it is because at some point, either past or present, you've identified as a pro wrestling fan. And chances are you became a fan because of the feelings pro wrestling created within you. It's that unique mixture of excitement and joy intermingled with shocks and thrills that made you into a fan. And I know this firsthand because that's exactly how I became a fan. I had to keep tuning in to see if wrestling would make me feel like that again and again. And eventually, it was so powerful, it compelled me to want to make this for other people. I had to learn how to make pro wrestling for others, including performing it myself. That is the beginning of my journey. And I'll share with you a story that really crystallizes how powerful that emotion can be. Way back in January of 1994, a match which is now almost 30 years old, Marty Jannetty and the 123 Kid teamed up to challenge the Quebecers with Johnny Polo for the WWF Tag Team titles. And, spoiler alert for a very old match, they won. They pulled it off. And when they did, I yelped and jumped off 
off the couch in my living room and ran out of my house into the street on a snowy January eve. I did not have to call my best friend at the time, who lived across the street. We were both watching, and we knew the only appropriate response to something as exciting as Marty and the kid winning the tag belts was to run out into the street and embrace at the sewer plate where we jumped up and down with joy. That feeling is as potent as I recount this story for you right now as it was back then. That is the type of emotion that pro wrestling can create in someone. And had it been any less powerful, had it not resonated with me in that way, well, maybe I wouldn't be standing here today talking to you. My point is, that's what I want wrestling to give to other people. And most people inspired to chase this as their dream want that too. They want to create powerful emotions in others. Before we dive in any deeper, would you please take one second right now and leave a like a palooza on today's video. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for your help. I believe professional wrestling's true purpose is to affect others. It's to create feeling in the people who experience it. And that is very different from making money or turning a profit. Those two things are results. And they're not bad. I'm not here to tell you those things are bad. They're not. But a result is different from a cause or a purpose. And this is why it is often very difficult for me to connect with people who claim that their purpose for becoming a professional wrestler is to get rich and famous. Because to me, that's not a purpose at all. It's also probably why I haven't gotten back to you just yet. What I want you to know is this. No matter where you are in your professional wrestling journey, it is possible for you to affect others, to create feeling in others, even if the wrestling you are making is not well produced. And right now, in the entire pro wrestling landscape, no one has higher production values than the WWE. Not far behind or... New Japan and AEW and ROH. But I want you to know, you don't need high production values to affect others. That's not true in pro wrestling and it's not true in other art forms either. You don't need the high production values of the WWE to affect an audience, to create feeling within wrestling fans. And this is true across any discipline, across any art form. The fact that punk rock, for the most part, was raw and unpolished did not prevent it from inspiring an entire generation of musicians to come. The most powerful improv I've ever seen was performed by a comedic duo called the Wadsworth Constant on a dirty little stage that was barely lit in front of an audience that numbered no more than 30, and that didn't affect its ability to impact me in a deep and resonant way. Or even thinking about my own in-ring career for a moment, there is probably no clip of me wrestling that's been watched more than this. It's got over a million views on YouTube. And barely a week goes by that someone doesn't approach me excitedly asking things like, well, how did you come up with this? And this is such a crazy thing and I've never seen anything like it before. It still inspires excitement in them, even though that clip is now more than 15 years old. And the match itself was not well produced. It was held in a derelict gymnasium in front of just a few hundred fans. If you've been inspired to chase your pro wrestling dream because of the feelings this art form has inspired inside of you, exactly the same as it did for me at the start of my journey, then you need to understand your wrestling need not be well produced to achieve that outcome but it does need to be well-structured and well-performed and built on rock-solid in-ring mechanics. And you know where you can learn those things? At your local wrestling school where they will teach you in-ring fundamentals. If you want to know more about performance and structure, you're already in the best possible place for that because now there's more than 500 videos on this channel and the vast majority of them are talking about that the performance and the structure of pro wrestling. It's an insight into the entire pro wrestling lifestyle. You don't need to be one of the 130 give or take people that are learning down at the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida, or are signed by World Wrestling Entertainment to have that experience. If your ultimate cause, if your purpose is to create the same feelings in other people that wrestling has given to you, you can start virtually anywhere. And yes, your journey might culminate 
in signing with the WWE. Maybe you will have that WrestleMania moment, but even if you don't, that doesn't mean that your wrestling can't affect others, that it can't resonate with others, that it can't inspire the same powerful feelings that you and I know oh so well in the people that experience it. If what I make here is important to you, then I need your help. In order to keep Till We Make It a weekly channel, my goal for this year is to reach 100 patrons over on Patreon. And there's a link to my Patreon down below in the descriptus. There you will find three different membership levels. You can begin supporting Till We Make It for as little as five US dollars, at which point you will begin to unlock more than 600 exclusive posts. So much wrestling knowledge you could choke a camel. I need your help. Join this awesome roll call of my patrons by following the link either down below or on screen and become part of our Patreon community. We would love to have you keep on learning and support the work of Till We Make It.